with a chronic illness, and I don't think that, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, but with a chronic illness, you, know, you got to spend every waking moment that you can trying to feel good because feeling good isn't free anymore. You know, for a normie, you know, they can just hop out of bed and they feel great and, you know, they can just go on the rest of their day. Like, you see these training videos that I make, uh, me hitting the bag, and it takes a lot of effort for me to do that. You know, it's not always necessarily the easiest thing to do. I think sometimes that gets forgotten, especially by uh, the people who work closely with people with chronic illness, speaking from personal experience with uh, my kidney disease. You know, there's a lot of things that the people at my clinic just can't understand because they're so used to feeling okay all the time. And you should be dedicating your time to trying to feel good, whatever you can do. You know, changing your uh, eating habits, eating clean. Um, in my case, with kidney disease, you know, lowering uh, fluid restriction. Because if you don't, it'll catch up with you very quickly. Aside from the immense emotional toll it takes on you, it takes a very physical toll on you as well. And if you're not doing your due diligence, it can catch up with you, you know, send you to the hospital, uh, chronic hospitalizations, feeling unwell, potentially creating uh, other health problems. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, oh, it's so easy. It's just it's just great. It's so easy. It's not. It's, it's really not easy to do. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try. Because at the end of the day, like these people that take care of you, your caregivers, like in my case, the uh, people at my dialysis clinic, they either don't care or their level of caring will only go so far. So the rest has to be up to me. Like I have to take the necessary steps to make sure that I am as healthy as I can be and that I feel good. So... I just wanted to make a quick little video talking about that. Uh, you know, from my perspective, some of this stuff may seem pretty self-explanatory, but you'd be surprised how often you still need to remind people of this kind of stuff. All right, so thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time.